I never knew that Suicide Moss was real until I found this cassette. So I was working at Walt Disney's when an employee gave me this cassette called Suicide Moss 2. <laughs> I laughed. Uh, what's wrong? I'm serious right now, he said. Was well, just that. What? You're really serious? Ha ha ha. I continued laughing. And then he looked at me seriously and said, If you want to see this movie, go at your house and you'll see that it's real. I never heard of him again. Oh yeah, wait. I remember. He committed suicide. I think it was because of that cassette. That damn cassette. I maybe shouldn't have watched it. Because now I have nightmares for weeks. And there's an old Mickey Mouse costume watching me in my window sometimes. I'm a little freaked out when I think about it. That mascot followed me everywhere, always telling me to continue watching this damn cassette. Well, you're only here to listen to the cassette, right? Well, here is the story of the cassette. Okay, so, first of all, let's talk about the cassette. Well, the title looks cartoonish, that's for sure. But the cassette is uh, black and white for some reason. Uh, the cassette began with the reverse and song of you know that kind of song. It started like it, uh, like that, and in the background was Mickey's face, and something was written in Russian, and it was written, "Life is death." Like a dead mouse, don't you agree? I really didn't understand what they meant, but when I saw the cassette, I understood everything. So the movie started with Donald Duck, Minnie Mouse, Goofy, and that was it. They were standing in two town waiting for Mickey. Now I was surprised because I thought that this movie was concentrating only on Mickey like in the first one. You know that creepypasta, there was only him, but in this one, there were more. So Mickey Mouse came with a smile on his, on his face and said, Hi pals, how are you? And Minnie answered with, I missed you so much. What's wrong? Mickey said, Hitler was trying to kill us. Minnie responded to him. Hitler? Mickey shouted. Yeah, Donald Duck said. I'm gonna take my revenge on them. Mickey said. Minnie and the others wanted to go and join him, but they had to help the civilians to rebuild. That's what they did, and Mickey got on his misadventure that ended up killing him. And that's when everything got darker and creepier. So Mickey Mouse got out of Toontown and got into New York City. There were explosives and bombs and guns and cries and shouts. Uh, as Hitler and his gang f destroyed New York City. Some voices were shouting, Mickey, run for your life or they'll kill you. Flames and forest fires were everywhere. So Mickey tried to run, but something or someone stopped him. It was someone grinning a white smile. A huge smile that no human can do. The demon was Satan. He told Mickey Mouse to do it. He told him to commit suicide. Mickey didn't listen to him. He ran, he ran, crying for his life. But then his face started melting. This was when I was disgusting beyond myself. S Seeing Mickey's face melting actually made me barf. Satan was repeating Mickey's name in a demonic voice. The worst was that the graphics weren't cheap. After a minute of running, Mickey had enough. So he took a piece of glass and cut himself with it. Mickey's body was the rest of the movie. 
well, the rest five minutes of the movie. And there were sound effects in the backgrounds of people crying and sounds of explosion and gunshots. After these five minutes, Mickey's grave was seen. Minnie, Goofy and Donald Duck were crying in front of, of the grave. And New York C City looked decrepit and destroyed it. So that was the end of the movie. But Mickey's face appeared on the screen. But this time, underneath, it was written, You're next. And living is unfair. And then for a split second, Mickey's face transformed into his skull. And then the movie stopped with an... Uh, with this message from Walt Disney Corporation, all right, reserve it. And it was made in the year 2000. The next morning, I destroyed the cassette and got a message from an anonymous user. And he said that, and his message stated, freedom. And the thank you. And what was inside? was a saw and flowers and a mascot mask.